Hello my beautiful boys and girls, my fluffy Draco Foxes, Cameron Draco Fox here coming at you with the second part of my nine part review of the Giant Evolutions set from Mega Constructs. And today we will be viewing Vaporeon. As you can see, it's in blue and in pieces, so we need to put it together. If you pay attention to the main, main games, Eevee will only evolve into a Vaporeon if given a Water Stone. Oh, can't lose that. So it's up to us to give Eevee the water stone needed to turn this into a master of the deep. So we're just gonna pretend this is the water stone. <laughs> All right, let's get started here. All right, so I have the instructions from Mega Constructs themselves pulled up on my laptop, which is right next to me. So we are going to work. So we take this neck piece. If I can find the other neck. Right. Where did that other piece go? Well, this is a professional start, isn't it? All right, there it is right there. So basically what you want to do is for every time you see one of these pieces, you want to grab it and shove one of these little pins in it till you hear a pop. There you go. So if you may have noticed, we got this thing. This makes up the frill of, of Vaporeon. So first thing we need to do is to make sure each, so we take these three, these two pieces, put them together, and we do this three times, as it says on the instructions. Now I didn't need them for Eevee because, well, Eevee is a particularly easy Pokemon to put together. So put it here. Oh wait, no, we need a, a do. All right, so we take the frill and we lay it down like this. Wait. Okay, yeah. All right, then we take Vaporeon's fins that and there we go Vaporeon's head is all done next we go on to the body now three by three brick I mean, two by three so we take these pieces put them together take this Panel, put it here. Take that panel, put it there. Bada bing. Next, we take these pieces. I'm looking at the instructions. Give me a minute. Uh huh. All right. I'm trying to keep, I tried to keep the chaos down for this video, so. All right, so next we take these parts and we make sure that they're on like well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how they go. They can go on either this way or... <sighs> Alright, now we need 
This part. I never used Vaporeon in the main games. No, no, my. I never used Vaporeon in the main games. So basically, this is a lot of hunt and peck. Alright, next we need this piece. Right. Like that. So we take that and put that. Eh. So we take these pieces, and these will make up the back fins of Vaporeon. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot in this. I'm trying to read the instructions while I'm doing this. So bear with me, folks. Bear with me. All right, so next we take... Okay, so I saw these and immediately thought these were going to be, like, the back legs. So I, I spent, like, an hour and a half trying to jam this in there. And it looked like this. But no, you're supposed to take these extra long pieces and put it in there. And then you take a foot piece and you put it on like that. Now you can already see where this is going. These are going to be the front feet of Vaporeon. So next we take these pieces. Uh, I think I got the build from here. So we're gonna take all these pieces, put them together. Oh, oh. oh yeah, we need that. Bada bing, bada boom, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Jerry Cannon for the win, boys. I, I was watching Vanos Gaming. He's pretty good. All right, so we got a, so let's put on the head real quick. Now, you may notice there's something missing. Where's the tail? Well, that's what all this stuff becomes. So, if I look down a bit. So, next we take these two pieces. The three pieces, and we put them all together. Oh, it wants to fight. All right. Almost done. We're at the home stretch. We got the tail. Uh oh. Ignore that because that is just. Oops. All right. So next we take this part, plug it in up top, and we take this fit. This leaf piece now uses a fin. And then we plug it into the, to the figure and boom, we got ourselves a Vaporeon. So, as we can see, it's in blue, white, yellow, with blue, dark blue with yellow paint for all three fins. It looks pretty good. Articulation, the head. The way the head is constructed, you have a head tilt. So you can give it an inquisitive look. Head can also turn left and right. The fins can move up and down. Because these are its ears. Legs here can move back and forth at the hinge and that's it. Tails tail is on one ball joint here and then two separate joints here and here and then the tail can spin so yeah there's that for the whole 10 minutes this took let's do a quick comparison with our last indenture with Evie 
So yeah, there we go. This took 10 minutes to do. This is great. This is a great start to this. All right. So, like, com like comment, and subscribe, my dear peeps. We are going to be going in to the next part soon with by far the easiest to put together, Jolteon. Love you, my boys and girls. Let's go.